Bombardier Beetle At first glance, most people think of the bombardier beetle as any other ordinary beetle scurrying about its business on the forest floor. Most outdoor explorers would see a small beetle that looks like it has a sunflower seed for a behind and pick it up. And now, just like an angered Reddit user who disagrees with you, it will pull something out of its butt to save itself, as it's a weapon of ass destruction. You see, within the bombardier beetle's abdomen lies a chemical weapon unlike any other. Inside, it has a specialized combustion chamber that houses two containers of explosive compounds. When threatened by a predator or disturbed, the beetle combines these compounds in its body, triggering an explosive thermal reaction. This creates a high-pressure burst of boiling hot chemical spray that it can accurately direct at any would-be attacker. So, one moment you're picking up a little beetle, and the next you're being sprayed with a scalding chemical blast that can reach temperatures upward of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only is this toxic spray boiling, but it also has a horrible odor that's close to impossible to get rid of. And when you're screaming in pain and just about to put it down, it shoots two more sprays in quick succession, so you get the point. Cow Killer now the real question with this insect is whether you're stronger than the average cow and whether you're bitten by it. And in most cases, no, you aren't. Despite its name, the red velvet ant isn't an ant, it's a wingless female wasp. For its scary name, it is just this, a crimson colored little ant scurrying across the ground and you've got a pretty good mental picture of the red velvet ant. But for some reason, evolution decided it would be better if it got a stinger for almost half its entire body. If you're mad enough, like Coyote Peterson, to get bit by this, the stinger injects a potent venom that triggers an instantaneous searing pain unlike anything you've ever experienced. You'll experience pain like never before, as if being stung with a white hot metal probe or having molten lead poured directly onto your flesh. The venom from a red velvet ant sting doesn't just hurt, it initiates a throbbing, burning agony that can last up to 24 hours. So if you ever get bitten, that's right, an entire day of feeling like your limb is slowly roasted over an open flame. Emerald Cockroach Wasp now, a typical day for the emerald cockroach wasp would usually include looking for food, digging holes to stay in, and, oh, capturing an unsuspecting cockroach, paralyzing it, literally mind-controlling it to a point where it can't even escape, and laying an egg inside it that will go on to eat it from the inside out. It's a pretty packed schedule, at the very least. You see, the emerald cockroach wasp, in one way or another, is a master of mind control, capable of inflicting a fate worse than death upon its favorite victim, the cockroach. This wasp hunts down a roach, delivering a nasty sting to its brain. Now, you'd think that would be enough to kill the poor creature, but it doesn't even paralyze it. The cockroach is fully aware and conscious, but its escape reflex stops. The venom doesn't kill the roach. Instead, it literally lobotomizes it, turning it into a mindless husk, completely compliant to the wasp's whims. Like a zombie drone, the wasp then leads the cockroach to a specially prepared burrow. Once inside, the wasp lays an egg on the cockroach's body, basically fate. When the egg hatches, the larva slowly consumes the still-living cockroach from the inside out, using it as a fresh, organic food supply. As the larva feeds, it carefully avoids devouring the cockroach's vital organs, ensuring its prey stays alive for as long as possible and prolongs its agony until the end. Amazonian Giant Centipede To start with, we'll probably need to give context on how big this is. These creatures can grow up to a foot long and have thick bodies about as wide as a man's thumb. They are like massive land-dwelling tanks encased in a tough outer skeleton and with a set of venomous fangs and hundreds of pincer-like legs. Because of this, the people of the Amazon knew they had one of the best interrogation techniques on their hands. Say you decide to steal last month's harvest of cocoa grains and refuse to tell the truth. The village head would bind you to a tree and the two 
two village centipedes would be brought out just for this occasion. You might think, sure, it's big, but how bad can it be? As these centipedes crawl on your skin with their hundreds of legs, eventually they notice that your skin is warm and radiating heat. Instinctively, it bites your flesh with a massive pincer and releases a potent venom that can cause horrifically agonizing pain that will leave you with a fever pushing 105 degrees. Bullet Ant Let's say you weren't born in the warm comforts of air conditioning and delivery food, but in the middle of the Amazon forest to the tribe of the Satare Mawe people of Brazil. You were born as a man, and it is now time to become one. In their culture, young boys undergo a rite of passage known as the Bullet Ant Initiation as your test of manliness. During this initiation, the tribe gathers bullet ants and sedates them with a natural herbal solution. The ants are then woven into gloves with their stingers facing inward. When the ants awaken, they become agitated and begin stinging the gloves. Now, not only is the bullet ant ranked the most painful bite in the world, but in fact, the pain is essentially being shot with an actual bullet, hence the name. Now your hands are covered in thousands of angry ants biting you. It's a searing, incapacitating agony that can last for up to 24 hours, leaving grown adults incapacitated from the pain. It all comes down to the venom they inject. You see, the bullet ant's venom is packed with a potent cocktail of toxins and compounds that directly target the pain receptors in our bodies, triggering an overwhelming and intense reaction. Assassin Bug Despite its name, the assassin bug doesn't necessarily look the part. It's actually quite chill looking, often mistaken for a harmless stink bug or leaf-footed bug. The assassin bug is equipped with a venom-filled proboscis, mouthparts. When it bites, it injects a toxin that can be incredibly painful and often lethal. Though the assassin bug's venom is designed to kill its prey, including other insects, spiders, and even small vertebrates, it can also have serious consequences for humans. These usually aren't bugs actively seeking out humans to bite, but if you accidentally come into contact with one or try to handle one, they'll probably react as you expect an insect being picked up by a giant to react. The assassin bug's bite can cause a range of symptoms, from intense pain and swelling to nausea, fever, and even temporary paralysis or muscle spasms in some cases. If you haven't seen one in real life, you might soon enough the next time you're in the woods, as they are on every continent except Antarctica. Harlequin Beetle The general unspoken rule in evolution is that if an animal or insect is super colorful, it is probably extremely poisonous. To break it down for you, this beetle is originally from South America, living in those tropical regions. It gets its name from its fancy colors, like a harlequin costume with reds, blacks, and yellows all mixed together. It looks pretty cool, right? But here's the kicker. Beneath that beautiful exterior lies a deadly secret. You see, the harlequin beetle loves munching on the sap from certain trees, especially the golden rain tree. While it's snacking away, it's also soaking up all sorts of toxins from the plants. The beetle becomes a little toxic waste dump, concentrating those poisons in its body. So if something tries to make a meal out of it or even threatens it, watch out. The Harlequin can release a wicked cocktail of toxins that'll make you wish you never messed with it. We're talking skin irritation, burning sensations, respiratory issues, and in some cases, it can even be fatal to humans and animals. But get this, as deadly as it is, the Harlequin helps keep specific plant populations in check by feeding on them. It's like nature's very own, very poisonous pest control. Tarantula Hawk when an insect was literally designed to just eat tarantulas, it's safe to assume that it has the tools to kill one of Earth's largest and most venomous spiders. The tarantula hawk is essentially just a giant wasp with bright blue-black wings and an elongated body. However, people describe the pain as akin to being struck by a blazing hot nail or having your hand smashed by a hammer. It's an insanely intense, searing agony that radiates through your entire body, leaving you in agony. But the venom was only designed and evolved to become neurotoxins and other compounds designed to immobilize the tarantula hawk's prey, the tarantula. 
Using its sting, the wasp injects its venom directly into the tarantula's body, paralyzing it from the inside out. Once the spider is subdued, the tarantula hawk drags its prey back to its burrow, laying a single egg on the still-living tarantula's body. When the egg hatches, the warm larva has a fresh, immobilized meal waiting for it, and it will devour the poor tarantula from the inside out. Tarantula hawks are found throughout the desert regions of the southwestern United States and Mexico, and they're not shy about venturing into human-inhabited areas in search of their eight-legged prey. So if you're an avid hiker, camper, or enjoy spending time outdoors in those regions, the risk of a run-in with one of these fearsome wasps is very real. Black Widow Spider Perhaps little else has to be said about the species in which the female black widows are known for eating the male spider after reproducing. Sure, from an evolutionary point of view, it's a brutally efficient way of ensuring their offspring's survival, but it's weird to think how this started. The black widow is one of the most venomous spiders in North America, but the craziest part being that you might not feel the bite at first or experience a sharp pain similar to a pinprick. The bite area may appear red and swollen. Within a few hours, the pain might intensify and spread from the bite site to the other parts of your body. You may develop symptoms such as muscle cramps, nausea, vomiting, sweating, and difficulty breathing as the venom begins to paralyze some parts of your body. If the venom enters your bloodstream, systemic symptoms can worsen rapidly. You experience severe gut-wrenching abdominal pain as your muscles begin to tighten up and your blood pressure goes through the roof. If notified in time, doctors may administer an antivenom to stop the spread of the toxin. Deathstalker Scorpions Deathstalkers are unmistakable with their thick armored exoskeletons adorned with menacing pincers and a wickedly curved tail tipped with a bulbous stinger that packs a punch like no other. They're the heavyweight champions of the scorpion world growing up to 8 inches in length. But it's not just their imposing size that makes these scorpions so fearsome. It's their incredibly strong venom. The Deathstalker's venom is a complex cocktail of neurotoxins and an entire cocktail of other compounds that can wreck a human body. A single sting can induce excruciating pain, muscle spasms, convulsions, and even respiratory failure in severe cases. Okay, but how likely am I really to encounter one of these? Well, if you wander the arid deserts of North Africa or the Middle East, your chances increase significantly. These scorpions thrive in the baking heat, burrowing underground or seeking shelter beneath rocks and debris, emerging to hunt for prey at night. Once locked onto their target, they unleash a lightning-fast strike with their venomous stinger, immobilizing their victim with surgical precision. But if you're daring enough, milking the venom of these guys will get you an easy $39 million a gallon. Unless you want Deathstalker Scorpions to be hiding under the next rock you pick up next time you're out of the house, join our Discord server for more stings from your favorite channel.